Have you ever wanted to change something about yourself but couldn't commit to it? This is a common human experience. We learn something. We know we need to change and we know how. Maybe we want to change our fitness, our work pattern, our diet, or even a boba addiction. We want to gain agency over our lives. We might even feel committed to that change for a time, but after a while, we go back to our old habits. Why? A big part of this power of our autopilot, or elephant, the habit we find so hard to change or helping us meet needs. In the opportunity to engage in a new, chosen behavior at some level, people believe that doing things the new way this time will leave them with unmet needs in the end. Mm -hmm. What the hell is this? I thought you quit picking boba. Yeah, uh, I, I was trying! Uh, Bro! You need to quit. You too. Maybe I should listen to Kevin. I really do have a boba addiction. This is like my fourth one today. Just imagine how strong it can actually be. I think I'm gonna stop. Maybe. For now. Hmm. Should I get, try that new boba spot today? Or should I go and actually lift with Kevin and learn some more? Hey, bro. Yeah. Do you want that boba? You know, the sweet taste yeah. of boba is life, bro. I do want boba. The oh, you're set, Jefferson. Do you even lift, bro? Bro, do you even boba? Boba lifts me. Up. It's what keeps the band going, bro. It's Whoa, the people it, going. It's and it's every day, bro! I think I'm actually gonna go and lift with Kevin and stop drinking so much boba. I'm so sorry, dude. Like, it was a good run. It was a good run. Cool. Bro, I lift you up, bro. That's it? He's got so much more to offer. Let's go, bro. Let's go. But before you can get change to stick, it will require attention and focus. Here are some ways to focus attention for behavioral change. One, review your insights. Record your insights as you have them and review regularly. Journaling is one example. What are you doing? Hey, put it down, put it down, you did the wrong way. But you wanna do this, keep your torso stiff the whole time. The elbow's locked in the place. Oh. Yeah. I think I got it. Thank you, John, man. Thank you. Number two, imagine yourself behaving in a new way. This is more powerful than you might expect. Our brains change when we imagine practicing a new behavior, and when we take the time to visualize a behavioral change, the attention helps us hold the information about what we intend to do longer than we can hold it without the visualization. Three. Anticipate the barriers to change so you can work around them or remove them. Number four, role play, practice, and ask for feedback. If you have a friend who is willing to help you practice your new behavior without judgment, this can help as well. Questions to ask yourself. What change is important enough for you to focus your attention on now? How do you want things to be different? Can you see yourself acting in a new way? What barriers can you remove ahead of time? Who could you partner with to try, fail, practice, and get feedback? You are in charge. The change is up to you.